Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to crochet our star stitch bow beanie. The yarn that I've used for this pattern is Color Theory by Two of Wands from Lion Brand. There are so many nice modern colors to choose from that I selected a few different shades. So this is Himalayan Salt. I've also used ivory, raisin, and tourmaline. You'll need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook for this project, and this is a streamline hook from Furls Crochet. And I'll have a link in the description box for the yarn as well as the hooks. So let's begin with a magic ring. Take your hook, sliding it through all three loops. Take the first loop and pull it through and chain two. We'll now work 10 half double crochets in the ring. Once you have 10 stitches, let's take our work and we'll take the tail, start to pull it. One of your loops here is gonna pull in, so then take that loop that's pulling, grab it, give it a tug, it's gonna pull in the other loop, nice and tight. Take your tail and pull. Then find the first half double crochet. We're going to do a reverse slip stitch, so keep your yarn to the front of your work. Go from back to front under the stitch. With the yarn to the front, we're going to pull it through. We'll chain two, and for this round, we'll work two half double crochets into every stitch around. So we'll increase to 20 stitches. We'll now do another reverse slip stitch in our first half double crochet to join. Chain two. We're going to continue increasing until we have 40 stitches for our newborn size. This will just be a tiny hat for a newborn. So really, really small. They'll grow out of this size fairly quickly. So we'll work a half double crochet into the first stitch and then two half double crochets into the next stitch. So one, and then two in the next. So this round will increase to 30 stitches. Once you get all the way around, we're going to reverse slip stitch again into our first half double crochet to join, chain two, and this will be our final increase round for this size. So we'll work a half double crochet in the first stitch, two half double crochet in the next stitch and then two in the next stitch. So the repeat pattern is one in the next two and then two in the next. And I know that reverse slip stitch can be a little bit of a nuisance but it really makes a nice join that you can barely see and it also prevents that curving that likes to happen with a half double crochet. Okay, so I'm gonna complete this round. Okay, so we've increased to a total of 40 stitches. I've slip stitched to join, and now we're going to begin our star stitch pattern. I'm going to chain three. In the second chain from the hook, we're going to pull up a loop. In the next chain, 
pull up a loop in the base of our chain we'll pull up a loop and in the next stitch and the next stitch so we now have six loops on our hook yarn over pulling through all six loops and we'll chain one to secure the star so that is our beginning single crochet five together which is our beginning star stitch now we'll go through the eye of the star we'll go through as you can see all of our loops here of the star the very last one we're going to push our hook through pulling up a loop going through the base pulling up a loop and our next two stitches we now have six loops on the hook and chain one so through the eye through the star through the base and the next two six loops on our hook pull through and chain one and you want to keep this fairly loose as you go pulling up the loops all to the same height We'll repeat this all the way around to the last stitch. Once we've worked all the way around, you should be ending with one stitch. We're going to continue making another star. Going through that last stitch. And now to complete the star, I find this will prevent a little bit of gapping from happening. We're just going to go through that slip stitch, join that base of the chain. Might be a little tight, but that will get us our six loops on our hook, yarn over, pulling through all six loops, chain one. Now we'll slip stitch to that starting chain. And that also will help keep this nice and tight so that we don't get any gapping. And then we'll chain two. Okay, so in the base of that chain, we're gonna work our first half double crochet. And then in each eye, we're going to be working two half double crochet. So I'm going to repeat that all the way around, meeting you up at the last star. So in total, I've worked around 39 stitches. So we're just going to add one half double crochet in the eye of the last star. I'm going to slip stitch to that chain to join. I'm going to chain three. And now I'm going to repeat the first round of stars and then the half double crochet. And we'll continue to repeat those rounds. And our star stitch pattern, I want two, four, six rounds in total. So let's just go over that star again. We're going to go in the second chain from the hook, pulling up a loop in the next chain. the base of the chain and the next two. And now we have six loops on the hook, pull through and chain one. And continue working your stars all the way around. Oh, 
Okay, so we're coming back around where we have one stitch remaining. So we're gonna go through the eye, through the last part of our star, pulling up a loop, through the base, through the last stitch, and then you're gonna see that slip stitch join right here. It'll be easier to see this time, and we're gonna just go right through there, pulling up a loop, and now we have six loops. Okay, and we're just gonna go right into that chain and slip stitch to join. It's really gonna keep that gapping very unnoticeable, so we're not gonna get much gapping there. Now we'll do our half double crochet round again. So we'll chain two and in the base of the chain, we'll work our first half double and continue this around. Two in each eye. Okay, so we're going to do an additional two rounds of the star stitch pattern. So we'll do another round of stars and another round of half double crochet, and then I'm going to meet you up to finish it that band off. Okay, so here's how the little hat's looking. And now to finish it off, we can do a round of single crochet in the back loop only. So maybe we'll do the two rounds of that. What working in the back loop is gonna do is gonna create this nice little ridge that we have here. So if we wanna go ahead and do two rounds of single crochet in the back loop only, it's gonna give us that nice little detailing. Just make a cute little band for around the base of the hat. Okay, so let's slip stitch into the back loop only, chain one, and continue with another round. Okay, so we can fasten off once we get all the way around. And let's take a yarn needle to join the hat. Go through the first stitch under both loops and then the back loop only. And we'll just weave in this tail. So in this video, I'm showing you how to finish the hat off with our big bow that's done in the star stitch. But the other option is to add a flower to the hat. I have a separate tutorial for the rose and I will link that in the description box if you prefer this version of the hat. But if you like the bow, I'm gonna show you how to crochet that up and add it to the hat. So let's make a slip knot, put that on the hook, and we're going to chain out a total of 40. Keep your chain smooth and we're just going to join it. Okay, and we're gonna begin working in the round just like we did the hat. So we're gonna start off with that star stitch. So we're going to chain three, work in the second chain from the hook, pulling up a loop, pull up a loop, pull up a loop in the base, and in the next two chains. We should have six loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through, chain one. There's two, 
three loops, four loops, five, and six. So we're just going to continue to work our star stitches all the way around. Okay, so I'm going to continue with that off camera. Okay, so I'm coming around to the end. We're going to go through. Through. Base. The next stitch. And then I'm going to go right here. Do that extra pull up to make the full star. Slip stitch chain two and now we're going to work the half double crochet row so we start with one we end with one and then two in each of the eyes and you can count as you go just to make sure that you stay on track with 40 stitches Okay, so we'll finish with one final half double crochet and we'll slip stitch to join. Okay, so what we're gonna do is repeat that now two more times. So a total of six rows. So we're gonna repeat our row one and our round two until we have a total of six rounds and then I'll meet you back up. Okay, so I finished my six rows. I'm going to fasten off now with a long tail. Okay, so first, as you can see, this tail's here, this tail's over here. So I'm just going to weave this tail so that we can have these in the center. Then I'm going to cross this one this way, this one this way, and we'll give it a knot. So go through one time, go through a second time, and that's just going to hold it as we tighten the bow. I want to make sure that they're even on both sides and I just like to give the bow a little shaping. And then we can just take our longer strand And we can wrap it around. Once I'm happy with the wraps, I'm just going to give it a knot to the back. And then I'm going to use the tails to tie to the hat. Okay, so now to put it on the hat, you wanna make sure your bow is up above the edge so it doesn't hang down when the baby's wearing it. So I'm gonna take one of my tails and I'll weave it to the inside of the hat. Okay, and I'm gonna take the other tail
Okay, and then I'm just gonna knot my tails to the inside of the hat. And you can weave those tails just in case you need to redo them. I'm just gonna trim mine off. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. If you click through the link in the description box, you'll find all of the links for the pattern and the supplies for this tutorial. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day.